Hi everyone, for today's story I was inspired by the fact that the shops, the supermarkets are the only places open in Dubai and today's story is called The Shopping Basket. Pop down to the shops for me will you Stephen and buy six eggs, five bananas, four apples, three oranges for the baby, two donuts and a packet of crisps for your tea and leave this note at number 25. So Stephen set off for the shop carrying his basket. He passed number 25 the gap in the railings, the full litter basket, the men digging up the pavement, the house where the nasty dog lived, and he arrived at the shop. He bought the six eggs, five bananas, four apples, three oranges for the baby, two donuts, and a packet of crisps for his tea. But when he came out of the shop, there was a bear. <gasps> I want those eggs, said the bear. And if you don't give them to me, I'll hug all the breath out of you. If I threw an egg up in the air, said Stephen, you are so slow, I bet you couldn't even catch it and it would smash all over your face. Me slow, said the bear. Oh, Stephen was right. So Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. But when he got to the house where the nasty dog lived, there was a monkey. said the monkey, or I'll pull your hair. If I threw a banana onto that kennel, you're so noisy, I bet you couldn't get it without waking the dog. Me? Noisy? Oh, oh, ah, ah, said the monkey. Uh-oh, the dog's woken up. So Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. But when he got to where the men were digging up the pavement, there was a kangaroo. Thank you. I, I eat all the cake. Good girl. Look, there's the kangaroo. Oh, this is my ice cream. Oh, give me those apples. My ice cream. Okay. Give me those apples you have in your basket, said the kangaroo, or I'll thump you. If I threw an apple over that tent, you're so clumsy, I bet you couldn't even jump over to get it. Me, clumsy, said the kangaroo. Uh-oh. What happened? He's jumped onto the men that were digging up the hole in the road. And Stephen hurried on home carrying his basket. But when he got to the litter basket, there was a goat. <laughs> Give me the oranges you have in your basket, said the goat, or I'll put you over the fence. <laughs> if I put an orange in that litter basket, you're so stupid, I bet you couldn't get it out. Me, stupid, said the goat. <laughs> Look at all the things that are missing, the egg, the banana, the apple, the orange. <gasps> so, oh, you got stuck. So Stephen hurried on home carrying his basket. But when he got to the gap in the railings, there was a pig. Give me those donuts, said the pig, or I'll squash you against the railings. If I put a donut through the gap in the railings, you're so fat, I bet you couldn't squeeze through and get them. Me fat, said the pig. Uh-oh. And he got stuck. You see his curly tail? Um, he's mad. He is mad. So Stephen hurried on home carrying his basket. But when he got to number 25, there was an elephant. Give me those crisps, said the elephant, or I'll whack you with my trunk. If I put these crisps through the letterbox, your trunk is so short, I bet you couldn't even reach it. Oh, my trunk's short, said the elephant. Uh-oh. What happened? He's got stuck. And Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. But when he got to his own house... There was his mummy. Where on earth have you been, Stephen? I only asked you to get six eggs, five bananas, four apples, three oranges for the baby, two donuts and a packet of crisps. Is, How could it have happened? taken so long? What's happened? She's mad. He's taken so long. And what do you think she's going to say when she realises all those things are missing? Is yeah. she going to be happy? No. No, I don't think so.